Hello, this is Candace Brasington with Little Ladybug Patch. I'm, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually really excited about making this video. I have a lot of fun making these videos, even though I'm a dork half the time. Um, and sometimes I have all kinds of editing issues. I just, I don't have that much time to sit down in front of a computer and just make it look all fancy and pretty and fix every single error I make. So you get real and raw, that, that's, that's what you get. Um, but, uh, we're in the bathroom, actually, today, uh, so, uh, some of you may know that, uh, my goal is to go off grid eventually, we don't have, um, you know, all kinds of money to put into a big array of solar panels or all the big systems that we would want, um, I can actually live very, very minimally, I've lived off grid before, um, and all, but, uh, you know, so my husband and I have to come to agreement on things and, and compromise uh, on things. So, um, sometimes you just have to go with the low-hanging fruit. We are not off-grid. We may not ever be off-grid, but um, I'm taking baby steps as I can. Uh, what I've been doing is replacing appliances and, and things that I can easily replace uh, from their electric um, counterparts to non-electric manual and, and other options where you're not connected to electricity, you're not connected to propane, uh, or some other things. Now, um, sometimes we have to kind of go in stages, like we, like for example, um, this is what today is about, off-grid drying. You know, everyone knows you can use a clothesline, uh, to dry your clothes off-grid. So, um, obviously, but I want to show you what I have transitioned to, um, you know, with regards to drying your clothes without, uh, electricity. Now, originally we did have an electric dryer, but my husband and I compromised. I was able to get him to compromise. We stepped from electric dryer to this, uh, gas. It's a propane dryer and it's a Maytag. A propane dryer um, and it's American made. Yeehaw, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so, but you're still very dependent on propane. And so, um, and on rainy days, you know, you might not want to hang your clothes out on the line outside. I mean, I do have an option for that. Like, we ran out of propane one time, which we use for our oven and our stove top. Um, and I needed to dry clothes, so of course my backups are the, these doohickeys here, um, which if you are familiar with these things, they're not very well made, and I think both of these were made in China. So this one here, for example, it's already broken right here, so it's no good. I have a couple of these, they're broken, so that's... I don't know what I'm going to do with that, so it's no good, I can't use it. Um, and then this one here, the wooden one, I went out and bought a bunch of dryers, uh, these dryers one time when our electric dryer went out before we got the propane dryer. And so, of course, I've got duct tape on these, and they don't hold very many clothes. The only one that's really held up is this one here, alright, um, I got that at Lowe's. This one is the only one that's held up. And so on a rainy day, I can bring this inside and dry clothes. Now, I want to take you to, I used to have, well, I still kind of have a clothesline um, outside. Um, it was actually one of these retractable ones here. It's still up there. As you can see, I've got a glare so I can't see. If you can see, all right, right there is a retractable one. And I had it attached to a tree that used to be right over there. It used to be right over there, but we had to cut it down. So it was attached to that. And then there was a line that was attached to that tree and then that one. So our property, we can't do the in the... Man, someone just pooped. I smell it. Y'all rotten. Oh my God, I'm going to throw up. I hope I didn't walk in it. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so anyways, um, our uh, land, our property, is full of, let me turn this around, it's full of rocks, there's our puppies. Um, 
it's full of rocks. It's hard to dig in the ground, like for one of those, you know, the T posts if you want to put in the ground. Um, plus, you know, my husband likes to mow the lawn. He doesn't have to mow around things if possible. And that was our picnic table. It kind of collapsed. But anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's the clothesline there that's still up. The last, the last uh, remnants of it is hanging between the trees. Um, so I was looking for, oh gosh, I forgot my paper. Um, I was looking for some kind of alternative to where uh, I wouldn't have to worry about digging into the ground. We have a lot of rocks in the ground. It makes it darn near impossible. Like those uh, trees over there. I actually barely dug it in the ground. What I did was I, um, I basically put stones around um, on the ground and then filled them with dirt and then planted the fruit trees in them. So, so anyways, and that seemed to work. They're doing pretty well. We've got a, a plum tree over there. So that's what it's about. Oh, my God. Okay. So, anyways, I was looking for an alternative. I was like, got to find something where I don't have to dig in the ground. It's durable. It's better than a clothesline uh, that's stuck on some trees. And um, that is portable. Kind of like the ones that I have here. Let me grab some stuff I forgot. And you can see my messy house, like I said, real and raw. Um, anywho, so I was researching and researching, and I came across, I think it was Country Living Productions. I think that's what it's called. And um, they had a uh, mobile, they had a mobile um, clothesline, heavy duty, like holds a lot of clothes, no, nothing piddly like those. That doesn't really hold much. So anyhow, oh God, I'm about to dump my, my clothes. I've got my cart here. Anyways, I'll link below. Um, they don't carry anymore the clothesline I'm about to show you because um, it was just too costly for them to ship it. But I kept searching and searching online and I know I'm running my mouth. Sorry. Um, I kept searching online for a portable clothesline outdoors and I found one very similar to the one that used to be on Country Living Productions that was made by the Amish. Well, this is made by um, Frudenthal Manufacturing. I absolutely love it. Let me tell you. Here it is. So you can actually push this around. You can put wheels on it if you wanted to. I got the 15 foot size, so it's 105 feet of line. More line than I need, which is exactly what I wanted. I'd rather have too much line than not enough. It was really easy to put together. You can see there, it's really easy. And you just, you know, string the, the line through the loops. It's really simple. Now the cost of this in here, let me, this is what I'm talking about right there. This is why we can't put anything in the ground. <laughs> we can't dig. Um, so, uh, what I, uh, oh, and this is American made and they make these for the Amish. I was going to get the 20 foot long one, but really, really didn't need it. I had to have it shipped by freight. We had to meet a semi truck, um, near us at a, at a shopping center or a grocery store. And so I got the 15 foot one. Now this, um, was, I think it was like 200, maybe $250 maybe. And my video is probably going to make a lot of sound every time I move. I don't know how to stop that from happening. I can't hear the sound that's being made, but I know when I go back and listen to the video or watch the video, there's going to be all kinds of sounds when I'm moving. So I apologize ahead of time. But it was like $250, I think, for this. This is an investment. I want it to last forever. I already wasted money on those other ones. The clothesline between the trees isn't working. Um... So in the shipping, the freight was about two hundred and something dollars. So it was a, it was five hundred and fifty five dollars in total for shipping and the clothesline to get it from, I think it was Wisconsin or Pennsylvania or I can't remember. Like I said, I'll put a link below um, to North Carolina. <laughs> so this is an investment. This will last forever. Another thing that I got that's making my life easier already. I got this grocery cart, grocery cart, laundry cart, 
And that was another challenge about doing your clothes is like sometimes, you know, you're just too tired. As you see, we have inclines everywhere. I have to walk up hills everywhere I go. So um, I love this laundry basket cart. It's heavy duty. I think it was $150. I know all this sounds like a ton of money when you could just buy some cheap lines and put it up, but that's in the shade. It's just, you know, it, it wasn't working. Um, and I needed more line and I don't have any more trees to tie to. This, I can put in the sun anywhere I want. I can move it all around the yard. Um, so these are investments. And this will last a long time, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna say something here and forgive me. This was a bitch to put together. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it like it is. Look at these directions. Look at that. It says, bolt on back angle braces. You know, it, it, it's very, it's not very intuitive for me anyways. I did this by myself. Um, and believe me, I was cussing. I was just a cussing like a sailor. I had to go by the direction, or not the directions, um, the pictures on the website where I bought this. I love what they offer. I'm going to be buying more things from them. Uh, Country Living Productions is where I got that cart. They have one also that has the wheels on the front, but I don't really need that. So I don't need this rolling down a hill. <laughs> That's why I don't need wheels up front. So, um, but I'm very happy with this investment. I'm so Oh, so excited about it. I know who would be so excited to hang clothes out on a line. I would I would it forces me to get my butt outside I work two jobs seven days a week. I work in front of a computer five days a week Monday through Friday on the weekends. I work um, in a warehouse uh, So this allows me to get outside. I love being outside So I'll put a link below as well for the country living productions you will see all kinds of great off-grid um, products and appliances that I'm also planning on buying. So I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'm going to go and hang out some clothes before it rains. I'll just call this a second rinse if it does. All right, see ya from Little Ladybug Patch. Bye, Penny. Bye.